What is the crack, lads, and welcome back to another pack review. So people have been asking me for this one. It is the Real Betis, and there is some nice players in this, but to be honest with you, it's probably one of the ones you could skip because I think unless you're a brand new player to the game, I think you're going to have players that are very comparable to some of the guys in this squad. So we're not going to take a massively deep look at these apart from Sergio Canales at the end because I think he is the pick of the litter um or the pick of the bunch i should say it sounds like puppies but uh yeah i mean they, it, there is some nice players here but obviously you know if you're looking at even the likes of moreno here even though he has 30 levels to go and he has got 82 and 83 speed and acceleration his defensive awareness for a left back his tackling his aggression his tight possession his low pass and everything else as well as having a standard form as well you're not really going to be, you know, if you spin for him and you get him, there's probably about like, there's probably about a hundred other left backs that you could get. Now, is he a guy that you could train up in and have like 90 speed, 90 acceleration? Yes, because he's got low or he's got high levels to go, right? You could train him up. He's got 30 levels to go, but you're going to have, you're never going to have him, you know, as an option compared to say Davies or compared to the other players that are there now he's not the worst pick i think on here he's probably one of the better guys but even at that i don't think that if you do get him he doesn't have enough aggression his tackling his defensive awareness again it depends on what type of uh, player you are and what kind of style you're playing um if you are a very offensive based uh player you might actually find that this guy is is a good player and he is a good player but i even think that you know there's a lot of left backs or right backs uh, that you could use that are just better, you know, all rounder than Moreno. But again, he's not the worst card of the bunch by a mile. So next up, we have William Jose. Again, a center forward and straight off. This guy is more in line with what I'm talking about, as in kind of a more skip than spin. I think if you look at his speed and his acceleration, yes, it's not all about speed and acceleration, but he's got standard form. He's on C rating. He has got a lot of player skills, which is impressive enough, such as heel trick, rising shot, heading. He's a tall guy as well, so he's going to be able to score you goals with that 81 heading if you boost that up to 90 and the physical contact up to 90 as well. And you just stay away from his pace. Like if you use this guy as a Didier Drogba, Ibrahimovic style player, he will be good for you. There's no doubt about that. And again, as I always preface these uh, player reviews, it's very, very, very easy to review a player and discount him or write him off. He could be a beast for your play style and he could be a beast for you. If you play with a, you know three center forwards up front and you've got two SSs and you've got one center forward, that's just a target man. Like this guy could be a monster for you because he will be having fairly decent stats with those 26 levels that you can train him up in. Um, but for me, yeah, I don't think that he's going to be somebody, especially when you need to give a couple of points to every play style apart from uh, possession game. So um, yeah, not the worst, but that speed is a bit of a killer for him as well as a standard form. Next up, we've got Carvalho. Again, this guy is on a B rating and he does have standard form as well. Uh, but again, he's a good DMF, right? 56 acceleration. I never really worry too much about acceleration for the defenders if they have got high defensive awareness. And this guy has actually got some beastly stats. He's one of the, the guys I think you guys should take a look at and see what he actually can turn into. Um, he is a bit of a monster in midfield. He is kind of like a Sergio Busquets type player, except a little bit more defensive and a little bit more aggressive. He does have some nice player skills, but he has no player skills that are defensive minded, which is a bit of a pity. If he had blocker or interception or even aerial superiority, because he's quite tall, I think this card would be a lot better because he does have very high physical contact. But for me, it's a miss in, in terms of this card. His standard version is probably as good goalies are up next we do have Silva who is just a very run-of-the-mill goalkeeper 21 levels he's not going to change the dial too much for you if you get him and you want to try him out low punt and penalty saver um he is fairly tall as well but yeah he's not going to really make a difference there's so many good goalies out there Ariola, Lafont, Muslier, uh, Donnarumma if you've got the money for him there's so many good absolutely beastly keepers out there next up we have got Felipe who is an extra frontman play style center back 20 levels speed and acceleration aren't bad defensive awareness isn't bad either he does have some nice player skills he's he's got everything you could possibly want this guy is definitely worth a look man marking interception blocker sliding tackle and fighting spirit 
He doesn't have heading, uh, which could be a bit of a problem for him, you know, especially if you're coming up against the likes of Haaland or somebody that's really dominant in the air at the moment. But he does have unwavering form on that C rating. So, yeah, he is probably one of the better guys. Um, he is probably one of the guys that can, you know, make it into your squad and just give him a bit of a chance, especially if you're a Betis fan. If you're a Betis fan, you're going to enjoy playing with these players. They are the best versions of their uh, Betis cards out at the moment. So third from last, we have one me or one me. I can't pronounce his name. Is it one me? He's got 36 levels. So this guy's a very intriguing player uh, to review and to look at, right? So we are going to actually take a quick look at him here and we will discuss like as a winger, is he going to be able to, uh, is he going to be able to kind of like make that jump into starting into your starting team, right? So, so actually heading over here to, eFootballDB.com. We'll take a look at Sergio Canales in a second, but the player ratings are still being updated. The player levels at the time of recording this, uh, he had a couple of more levels to go. He goes to three, three more levels to 36. But even at that, he has got some really nice stats and he also has some nice uh, player skills as well, which we'll look at. But he's got some really nice stats. You're going to get his dribbling and his speed up to about like 85, 86 and his ball control dribbling type possession is dribbling up to maybe about 90 when you have him fully maxed out. And if you go back to actually look at his player skills over here, we have sole control, chip shot control, long range shooting, first time shot and one touch pass. So he's got a very unique variety of player skills, which I think is definitely worth a look at uh, if you are looking for a kind of a different winger and especially that he can play in an assortment of positions. He can play left, or right anywhere on the pitch apart from the fullback positions and he can play ss or cf as well so yeah very very good player and then we've got fakir who we have here uh that rhymes i'm a rapper amf 30 levels again a very good player but he is on d form which is a big pity he does have unwavering he's got a lot of player skills including weighted pass true passing and all the shooting uh, skills that you would want but to me, lads, he's not going to cut the mustard, I think, for other players in the game uh, if you are looking for an AMF. But obviously, as this is a random spin and you are going to be getting a random player with this 100 coins, it is going to be something that if you do get him, you definitely can get him up to like a 92 overall player. So last but not least, we are going to look at the pick of the squad, I think, in Canales. I think Canales is probably a top 20 player in the game when you train him up correctly. And I'm going to show you guys in a second just how good he can actually be over on eFootballDB.com. But looking at his player card here, we've got AI playing style. So he's got amazing run, speeding bullet, long ball expert and long ranger, right? So he's an all-rounder. He can play right mid, right wing, center mid or AMF. And he's also got so many player skills, long range shooting, one touch pass, true passing, outside curler, pinpoint crossing, double touch. This guy is an absolute beast. I think he is being slept on a little bit. And hopefully that this card makes it into a couple of squads because he's got unwavering form. He's on B rating. I would love to get him. I think he's one of my favorite players ever in Pez games back in Master League and stuff. And he looks to be absolutely insane in this version of him. He's got 26 levels here. And when we actually do go over here to eFootball DB, and we're going to take a look at him, we've got 26 levels loaded up on, on him here. And this is how I would train him. So you're going to go 92 pass, 82 lofted uh, pass, and then you're going to be boosting up his dribbling, his ball control, his tight possession, his speed and his acceleration. Even at that, you still have, you know, fairly high curl. You've got kicking power. You've got stamina. Um, he's got the tree form, obviously, for the unwavering form. He is an absolute beast. If you are looking for kind of a GP alternative to it, I always wax lyrical about Kovacic, who plays for Chelsea. Absolute beast of a player to Croatian. Like, one of the best players, I think, in the game. If you are looking for an AMF, I would play him AMF. He's got 90 ball control, 92 low pass, 88 balance, 90 dribbling, 92 possession, and uh, 82 acceleration. And again, you can mess around with those stats as you see fit. But that is it for the real Betis player review, lads. Let me know what you guys think. Hope you enjoy these videos. I will be back later. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.